To all Stanford students, I come in the name of the Lord. Repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. If you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as Savior, I want to invite you to do so and become a Christian and be baptized in the Spirit. In order to begin your life as a Christian, you need to confess your sins, not to me, but to Jesus. That could be as simple as saying, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. If you can say that or something like that in your own words, then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It has nothing to do with me, or not really with the baptism, but with your faith. The baptism is just a seal, a symbol. Um, this is a baptism in the Spirit signifying your new birth as a Christian. Now uh, you can be sure of where you'll go when you die. It's called heaven. Um, it's eternal paradise with God, with the family of God, the body of Christ, fellow members, brothers and sisters of the body of Christ, and uh, your actual, your actual um, family members if they are Christian. They will be there with you. And also all the angels and saints. And uh, as mentioned, God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's one God, three persons. That's the Trinity. Now, if you're at Stanford, you've probably studied at least a little bit of religion and, and history and things like that. But maybe, maybe you've even studied a little bit about Christianity. But if you haven't accepted Christ, that's a different, uh, whole different ball game, as they say. And there's three things you should do once you start your life as a Christian. One, start talking to God. That's called prayer. Number two, start reading the Word of God. That's called the Bible. And number three... Find a church with traditional values. Now, if you're at Stanford, you might not like to be... If you're... Maybe you've been in a liberal atmosphere, you might not, not want to hear that you have to have a traditional value church. But I believe that. I believe that's what God intended. So it's something you'll have to consider if you have to give up some part of your lifestyle that it's not... Uh, I don't believe, personally. You will find others who will say that's... You know, they'll tell you what you want to hear, but uh, I'm just telling you what I think, so what I believe, and what I, I feel like I know. I, I can say that I know it. Um, anyways, start with that, and uh, read the box below for more information, and if you have any questions, or for a free Bible, you can message me on YouTube, and I'll uh, do what I can to help you. And I'll be praying for you. God be with you and bless you. Lord, we pray for any new Christians here at Stanford. Be with them, guide them, lead them, give them strength, courage, faith, commitment, conviction. Everything they need to know you better and to grow in you and to love you with all their heart, mind, strength, and soul. And the courage to tell others the good news, the gospel of you, Jesus Christ our Savior, who died on the cross to save us, John 3, verse 16. Memorize that verse. Hear our prayer, Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.